Okay. <laughs> oh, God, it feels so good to have her back on my lap. It's been so long, you know. You know, her and I now have been together for quite a while. And as you know, I think there is a video somewhere in my history about my relationship already with this. Um, hmm. There's a difference going on here. Wait a second. Uh-huh. No. Oh. Wait. Why is the action so high? It's so high now. Oh. Oh, yeah. There's some funky business. Wow, we have a serious uh, action here going on here. Now, either the, br the bridge is like mysteriously uh, gone up or whatever. Or the, the wood is, you know, making it, it's flexible now. It's pulling on it or starting or, or maybe the strings got mysteriously changed to another gauge and it's pulling on it. Or uh, it's a change of the season, folks. And this is not as aged as we would like it to be. Because the more it is aged, then the more stability I believe in. This is just my belief. I could be wrong, you know, I'm just, so, uh, <clears throat> so, I don't know if we can see this, but it's, it's pretty dramatic, you know? it's like, it looks like a quarter of an inch, or like, or maybe I'm being a little dramatic, but it looks really bad, it's like, oh, God, it reminds me of, like, those early student guitars of the 60s, when you're growing up in the 70s, those, those pieces, oh, <clears throat> Wow, to, to, to just, to, just to think that anybody made it through those beginner guitars back in the day, because back in the day, beginner's guitars sucked. Just the entry level, anything. It was actually discouraging guitar players from playing or wannabe guitar players from picking up a guitar because it was just so difficult. Everything sucked. The action was high. The strings were like, ow! It's like nobody knew nothing. And it was like a teacher. You had to look for somebody with long hair. It's just, oh, that person must know how to play a guitar. And chances are they did. And that's how I learned. Well, anyway, long story short. <laughs> just I just followed the long hair people. Because, you know, it's like, God, they, the audacity for them to wear, have long hair, display it. It's like, oh, they, they're not chicks. They're dudes. But... They get the chicks. I guess chicks dig that. So I, I was into hair. I, when I had it, and then it all fell off. And when it did, well, I had to go along with it. And then, oh, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. We should, we, should, we should be talking about this. I'm having a really hard, very emotional moment at this very moment. Now, it hurts because I, I, I didn't expect this. I, I thought I was going to have a different uh, video. I thought this video was going to be different. I like, wait, 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 am I sad right now? Yeah, I am, I'm being, I'm being, I'm really upset. I mean, like, what? Oh, my God, it's like a, it's not good, it's not good, folks. Uh, it, it, but it's, it, it's nothing to be really, I don't think we really should be alarmed because it, is it, gonna, it's, it feels like it's spring loaded. It's like, it's, ow, oh, she's saying, oh, shut up. Okay, I'm going to be quiet, I'll be quiet. God, I'm t I get, I get, uh, I get, I, I, I get very uh, anxious. I, I'm very upset that you're looking. For, well, no, you still look good. I, but you're not feeling good right now. You don't, you don't feel good. You're not. You, uh, this, this is not you. This is not you. I don't know what. Is it he? No, it can't be he. I don't. I think it's, it's all in the neck. It's, I mean, now, oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's. Uh, okay, so we, we have some truss rod adjustments to do. All right, so uh, let's get into this. Um, probably, uh, you know what? I'm going to just lose the tree. All right, so that's... Not that hard so far, right? Just taking some screws off, right? <laughs> now, here comes that clever tool that uh, 
comes with every guitar. Actually, I don't know if this is the right one, but yeah, this seems to be the one. <laughs> okay. So, uh, let's uh, tighten where we need to tighten. Oh, my God. Is that right? Is that even on? Wow. We're looking pretty good here. Let me just uh, I said it looks pretty damn good here. Still not really satisfied yet because I think the tension of the strings is also contributing to something. Yes, or oh, maybe not. Yeah, the neck is straight. Okay, so now I guess we can lower the action a little bit, right? All right, let's do that. Okay, let's lower this action a little bit. Okay, well, the next thing we're going to have to do for sure. <laughs> I don't think there's no, <laughs> no figuring that out. Is uh, I can see now that uh, the poles to the pickups are quite <laughs> close to the strings. And I already know that's not the way I uh, float. Um, definitely no floating of a uh, pickup here because uh, that's like literally almost touching it I'm like I'm like it seems like a three thirty seconds of an inch or something I don't know something ridiculous oh not that small but damn close I could tell right now that's not gonna be it for me that that's no way that, that's no way that's gonna make me happy so I'm going back here somewhere I don't care what people say because I'm gonna get it right and I could tell you right now it ain't gonna be right like that I'd rather work my way up and hear what right sounds like. Because that is ridiculous. Okay, that's much better. This too can be lowered too. I can see right off the bat just the way it looks. I'm gonna, I, I can read. That's like crazy, I know. 
But I'm crazy like that. All right, so let's stop, let's stop putting her through a nap. Uh, I'd say it's a good day when you can get your guitar back um, playing in good order again. So, and uh, it did take me for a loop because I, in the beginning of the day today, when I first realized that the neck was making a U-turn, I was, well, I was quite taken aback. I was, well, I could just say I was sad. You know, I was depressed how could that happen to such a lovely instrument right well you know what happens to could happen to any instrument some instruments are more delicate or more sensitive you, should, you could say um, 
And I do happen to believe that the older an instrument gets, you know, the more stable it becomes. You know, henceforth, uh, the reasons why my, uh, my Gibsons are holding so steady, well, I've had them for decades already, and some of them I bought used. So add another decade on top of that. So, uh, and not to mention, I have a feeling that when Gibson puts together their guitars, they're already aged. Some of the wood has aged, you know. They're, they're, you know, they're being more mindful of necks and stuff like that because fluctuation of, you know, a neck wanting to do a U-turn is pre merely the result, in my opinion, of a neck that's quite young and still trying to figure out where it wants to go and the effects um, of, well, how it responds to seasonal changes. Over here in New York, we have four seasons, and now we're finishing up with the summer season, and now it's truly, we're, we're headed towards the fall, and already the, the temperature is changing, uh, the, humidity, the humidity levels are changing, the dew points are changing, so it's going to affect guitars some way in some guitars are well as i said before uh, won't be affected as much or oh, and if they are it's not a dramatic adjustment that would have to be required well in this case this guitar proved that uh this took uh the seasonal changes quite uh, hard. Uh, it was pretty bad. I mean, right now, uh, it looks so much better. It feels so much better. I'm so glad this thing is functioning again. Um, so, and here it is unplugged. <laughs> I can't really say this was ever a really loud, uh, semi-hollow body. Not loud at all as a semi-hollow body. Um, I guess it maybe it could be a little bit louder than just uh, your regular solid body. Uh, but it does give you the, the um, this feeling, this, this semi-hollow body feeling reminiscent of a, you know, big old G brand, but this is not a big old G brand, is it now? The Harley Benton trip is quite a unique experience, and I'm sure a lot of people are experiencing this, other guitar players who possibly maybe during the pandemic when they were all closed in, not doing anything except twiddling their thumbs, well, they found themselves closer to the internet, you know, on certain sites that really took their minds away, you know. Well, some of us, uh, we found a way to um, let go by buying things, acquiring things, and some of us might be subject to this uh, this uh, diagnosis, such as uh, gas, you know, uh, guitar acquiring syndrome, gear, some gear syndrome, whatever. It's a uh, you. You're acquiring a lot, and I think I might have fallen victim to that, you know, all right? But so, nothing that I'm regretting, though. None of these, well, no, I wouldn't say all, I wouldn't say all my guitars have been um, good ventures. Some of them, well, you know, they didn't quite meet the mark uh, or um, the expectation or that kind of that kind of behavior, but and but many though I should say from Harley Benton has surpassed my expectation of what I was going to receive. So this is one of them, and it's I believe I just it's it's a <laughs> it's crazy, but uh, it, it's 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 actually a good player. Um, 
It's funny how just how just this video turned out because um, when I first started, as you guys were witness, I was quite sad because uh, the neck was moving around and it was a crazy high action. Right now, there's a beautiful action. It's so easy to play this. So what are we in? All right, so it's all back, isn't it? Well, okay, that's all I got for today. Here is the Harley Benton HB 35 Plus. It is what it is, folks. It's a double cutaway, semi-hollow body. It has uh, Roswell pickups. Uh, these... Uh, Pickups are splittable. You can just split the coils. And uh, it does that. Uh, it's got two volumes, two tones, a three way pickup selector. Everything works. Everything is in the places where it is supposed to be. And. Uh, It's okay as a acoustic thing. It's not like loud as an acoustic, even though it's a semi hollow body. So I think you really got to get your kicks by putting in the pickups. <laughs> Also, another thing I want to point out is that these Roswell pickups, folks, they're, they're on the hot side. They're really, really hot. Um, they're very loud. Almost, almost screechy. They could be. Well, shrilly. You know, for me, my personal taste is that I, I, I really required to, uh, I, I was, it, it was calling for me to lower these quite a lot and they're they're actually lower I would say than these uh, pickup um, skirts or whatever you call these parts uh, plastic parts um, the yeah the pretty they're pretty much just slightly lower um, because um, Sounds better to me that way, that's why.
Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next time I get all touchy feely for a guitar in my life. Until then, why don't you go pick up that guitar and shut up? <laughs>